Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has released the latest B-release patch Tuesday security update for Windows 11 23H2, which is KB5062552. And once the update has been applied, the OS build will be bumped up to 22,631.5624. Now, the update addresses security issues front and foremost for your Windows OS. And for this month, there are 76 vulnerabilities that have been patched in total for 23H2. Five are critical, 69 important, one moderate and one low. And critical obviously is your highest ranked vulnerability and those are listed as transient scheduler attacks. We've got two comprised of those. We've got a Windows Image and Component Information Disclosure Vulnerability and we've got Remote Code Execution Vulnerabilities as well. We've got two of those as well. So five critical, so an important update when it comes to security. 76 vulnerabilities have been patched in total. Now Microsoft has rolled out a bug fix for this actual update where it says the update addresses a fix from a prior release that could cause black screen issues during display changes like connecting or disconnecting a monitor. So according to Microsoft, that graphics issue has been fixed. And then this security update also includes the improvements and features that were part of the optional bug fix C release update that rolled out towards the end of last month, which for 23H2 was KB5060826. I posted a whole video on that. It will be linked if you'd like some more information. But just a quick recap for the purpose of this video, because it did include a couple of new features. First of all, it included new app defaults in the EEA region. And if we head into our start, and we head to the Windows Backup app, which is a system app. It now starts adding the new PC migration experience on Windows Backup. So now you've got backup this PC and transfer to a new PC that's been added now to the backup app. Just take note though that with this new transfer feature, if we click on it and we click next, Microsoft says this feature is in user testing stage, full version coming soon. So it's not working 100% and the feature isn't there 100%. Basically, this is the start of the feature rolling out, as I have mentioned previously. And obviously, with future updates, this will become a fully fledged working feature. And the main purpose of this feature, the transferring feature, obviously, is that it's, according to Microsoft, will make it easier to set up a new PC from transferring your information from this PC to another using this feature. And just to mention the next, when you share links or web content using the Windows Share window, you will now see a visual preview for that content, so a little thumbnail image of that. It also addresses an issue that prevented the complete removal of unused language packs and it fixes the Windows search responding very slowly. And there was a bit more that rolled out with that update. Go check the video out. It will be linked. This was just a quick recap for the purpose of this video. So that's more or less what's new with KB5062552 that rolled out for Windows 11 23H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.